What's going on everybody, I'm YouTube's ProPJ and welcome to day 22 of This Is The Police. Uh, let's get straight into it, read some headlines. Janitor found dead after stampede at school disco. Gay club admitting minors. Millionaire bum donates everything to church. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And Jack still got a shitty car. God damn it, Jack. I don't think Jack's ever gonna get a good car. I drank too much. I don't think I can hold together today. Can I go home? No. You cannot. I got tickets to watch the filming of a TV show. I've always wanted to be on TV. Can I have a day off? No. Ooh, stripes. I have to give some stripes to someone. Who do I give it to? Maybe Asano. I feel like Asano's done a good job. Let's, uh... What are we going for today? Let's go for a bit of... Yeah. Bit of this. Even though you guys probably can't hear it still. I don't even know if you can hear it in the recording. I don't fucking know. Oh. Hire Asian cops. Jack, keep up the good work. And we'll make sure your final days at Freeburg PD are much more comfortable. Mafia. Your friends, uh... Oh, wow. Ah, we're gonna take it all. We're gonna take it all. That's all the jewelry that I gave to the Mafia to sell uh, last episode. So that kind of stuff, like jewelry, I... I don't have much of a problem with them selling. But weapons and everything, I have a lot of problem with them selling. Destruction of property. A student reported seeing a truck drive into the yard at a hostel. A fat man climbed out and began to slice up a bench with a chainsaw. Some other students tried to intervene, but the man threatened them with the chainsaw, saying, I asked you nicely to keep quiet at night. Now you can park your yellow asses somewhere else. Oh, that's fucking racist. Oh, racist. Okay, let's send Koshi and Asano. And maybe we should also probably send, um, let's send Price. Why not? Price just wants a good time. Or not, I don't fucking know. It's interesting. I'm, I'm glad that you guys are still enjoying this series. We are getting very, very close to the end, which is good. Situation is more serious than we thought. Requesting reinforcements. McNally and Austin. Yeah. Alright, what we got? Assault with a deadly weapon. A call has come in from the Secretary of the Law Office of Johnson... Jurgen and Katz? She reports a woman wearing an expensive fur coat and high heels entered the offices of the senior partners of the firm and asked the secretary not to disturb them. Shortly thereafter, shots rang out from the office. Hmm. Might need to swap for this, because I don't think Yancey and Purdy can handle this one. Oh, fuck it, let's send all of them. All of them with SWAT. Now my entire workforce is out doing a job. Which is good. We're actually being active. What we got? Destruction of property? How did we go? Offender caught officers unharmed. Didn't say civilians unharmed. That are not a good. Oh, the Sands need help. Some punks ransacked the house of, of a family member. It seems like they know they look. Seems as though they were looking for something, something other than money. Maybe a notebook with a list of important contacts. Let's lock up these scumbags before they can do any real damage. Assault with a deadly weapon. Office door is closed, but inside, the sounds of man screaming, gunshots, and breaking glass can be heard. 
Swipe the secretary's keys. A bald man in a suit is laying in a pool of blood. A woman in a fur coat is standing on a table taking aim at two other men who are hiding behind an overturned bookcase. Uh, drop your weapon. Defend the court. Oh no! <gasps> oh, no! I just killed Purdy. Oh no! That's not good. Oops. That's terrible. I can't believe that just happened. Ooh. This is Mr. Boyd, the television I Television show I produced, Justice for All, suffered a terrible drop in ratings last month. Our poll suggests that our viewers stop finding the shows believable. We are currently shooting the next season, and for one episode, we need a real cop who will betray a cop pervert who is kidnapping young girls and raping them in his cars. We don't have a huge budget, and we think we can afford a couple of thousand for you. And for a cop that will play a part in the show. And plus, everyone in the city will see him in the show. Let's get rid of Percy. That's a good idea. This is how I get rid of Percy. Percy, there's an opportunity for you. Go. Bomb threat. Call just came in from a bank branch in the center of town. A man entered wired with explosives. He threatened to blow himself up along with everybody nearby. Unless he was allowed to speak with the press and TV within an hour, the man claims that the bank took away his house after failure to repay a loan, a loan which he says never he never took out. Yancy, Asano, and Koshi. Don't fucking die. I can't believe Purdy and Sabaki died. I feel terrible. That actually made me feel really bad. Bomb threat. Fend the court, officers unharmed, civilians unharmed. <sighs> Fuck you, boy. Take your fucking orders and shove them up your better half. I quit. Good. He quit. We've lost three officers today. <laughs> That's not good. The Sands need help. Um, yeah, okay. We'll send McNally in Austin. Help is on the way. <sighs> so two officers dead, one officer quit. Oh, it's been an eventful day. In the city of Freeburg. Structure and property. I'm not even gonna read it now. Because we shouldn't be getting that many calls. I genuinely feel bad about that. That's ma that's made me cut that's made me really sad. <laughs> Really sad. Oh, hello. All right, here we go. Let's have a look what we can do here. Um, that, that, that. Mm, that order? Um, I don't know. I don't know the fucking order. Um...
I don't know how it, uh, that investigation. I don't know. Okay, wait me out lying. Destruction of property. There's a bunch of cash hidden in the sofas. Nah, I'll take it to the cops. We we could use the cash. I think that's the end of the day. There we go. I can't believe fucking officers died. I feel bad. I feel genuinely terrible about that. We do some paperwork for this dead employee. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so late, soldiers. Truckers unhappy with suburban roads. Freeburg gymnast wins regional competition. Fire at the puppet theater. Two actors dead. <laughs> And there's Jack. We're for Shitka. Got tickets to watch filming of a television show. I always wanted to be on TV. Can I have a day off? No. I'm sad. Is there anything that feels like the blues? Yeah, good enough. It's a sad day. We, we lost two officers. I feel the sadness. This is a small team. Attempted murder. Girl shouted over the phone that her grandmother has been trying to kill her. I feel like this is a false alarm, so I'm gonna send you two. It's a sad day. We lost two fine officers. Well, one fine officer and one, yeah, alright officer. But still, a fight. A few drunks playing darts, one of them go hit in the shoulder, if I break out, blah 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 blah, let's send the paddy wagon, let's send Stavall and Vandal. No, Vandal stay here, Samadhi. I think we've got this alright. Road to the house is strewn with corpses of drowned dogs. Whites inside the house are on, but the door is locked. Call through the front door. A bleeding elderly woman is on the floor in her living room. Check whether the woman's alive. Offender court officers unharmed. Civilian killed. I'm not having a good day with this. So we've got three co uh, two cops dead, one quit, and the and we got one dead civilian. Offender court officers unharmed. Good. Oh. Fiona was found in her apartment with her head caved in and meat. Yeah, okay, we got our two detectives on that. Fair enough. It's not a good day in Freeburg. It's not just, you know what, it's not been a good couple of days in Freeburg. It's a time of say, Edna. The Sands need help. Family Bank just called in a report of a strange man in a leather jacket with fake documents trying to empty one of our accounts. Obviously, it's one of the Vargas agents. But it's such a super move, we don't need... We don't want to get our hands dirty with this. Just lock him away in a cell. Yeah, then I'll go get him. As I said in the last video, I'd rather there be a mob that has an alliance with the cops instead of a, um... A crime family that has no alliance at all with the police. Uh, John. Someone banged on the door and my mother told me to hide under the bed and close my eyes and ears. And be as quiet as a mouse. I only heard muffled screams. When I got out from under the bed, I found my mother in the blood and I called the police. Medical examiner. Fatal boy was struck by a blunt object to the head. The killer was standing behind the victim. Death was immediate. And the body shows no sign of violence. Mrs. Riggy. I found Fiona swearing with her brother. I heard Fiona swearing with her brother. He'd come around again begging for money at her doorstep. 
Then she started yelling at her, at her son. He always sits there in front of the TV playing those stupid games until he turns blue. And then my phone rang and I talked with my friend for an hour and a half. First responding officer. Door to the apartment was open when I came in. The boy was sitting in front of the TV playing some game on a console. Didn't even turn in my direction. I think he was in shock. His mother was laying dead right in front of him. Uh, Mr. Andre? Peter Andre, the victim's brother. Yes, I went to my sister's to borrow some cash. I lost my job and the bills were piling up. I expected her to help. Like I've helped her in the past and she refused, but I didn't kill her. We had a fight and yelled at each other and I went home. I watched a movie. I watched a movie I rented and went to bed. Okay. I feel like it's going to be the brother that ends up killing you. I'm just going to put that out there. I really do think that. Suspicious individual. Kashi just called in the, uh, her voice in a whisper. Two suspicious black men have entered the store. They spent a few minutes browsing the rack with the expensive whiskey. And now they're whispering to each other and looking back at me. Looks like they're planning on robbing the store. Staval And Grant. It's hard now because I'm like, what if this goes pear-shaped? I don't want, like, all of my good officers dead. It's hard. <laughs> Alright, what's the verdict, Stavall? Men were unarmed and just doing a lot of shopping. They were picking out an expensive bottle of whiskey as a friend for their grandfather on, his, on the anniversary. Okay. Not a problem, boys. You get yourself that fine whiskey. I could go for a bit of whiskey right now. You know? Theft. Passed by witness three people trying to break into an ATM. Pickup truck was parked nearby, its engine still on with another man behind the wheel. Looks like they were trying to grab it, the ATM and carry it away in the truck. Then Dal and Samadhi. When does my, um, when does the game end? It's August 6th right now. Doesn't it end, like, mid-August? I think it's, like, I think it's mid-August that this game uh, wraps up. Because it's, it's August 6th right now on uh, this calendar. Situation is more serious than we thought requesting reinforcements. Staval, Grant. Yeah, everyone can go in. Fuck it. Well, the Sands are going to have to wait. Don't care. We've got other fish to fry. Plus, they're in a massive lead right now. I think it's like 18 to 5 or something. From um, when I last looked at it. Homicide report. Got three new frames. Ooh. And that. That. That? No. That. That, that. Maybe. Fifth report. Fender Court officers unharmed. Good, 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 good. Well, this has been an emotional episode. <laughs> There's been there's been a couple of ups and a lot of downs in this one. It's nineteen to seven, okay. Alright, end of day. Checkpoint. Alright. Well, I'm gonna leave this episode here. That was a very grim episode. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the series nonetheless. Uh it is it is slowly wrapping up um, and I hope you guys will stick with me for these last couple of episodes and I hope you're still enjoying it as I said before but for now thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to favorite it don't forget to subscribe if you have not already guys helps me out a lot there are links to my social media in the description box and as always there's a link to the Pope JM merch store down below 
I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world. And until next time, I'm YouTube's Pope Jan. Peace out. We have eternity together And as lovers we cannot help but drown in all the ecstasy It's in the way we fight It's in that sweet surrender I'm drinking in your poison